I like that. Cool. All right, what you got? Uh, well, I just patched the two uh, converter modules. So basically, I'm sending in to the, um, to the microfold um, with the, you know, the Jones to Euro and then back out from the microfold to the Euro to Jones. So if we put the feedback chain through here and then take it back out through there. That should do something. I'm not sure what. Mm -hmm. I mean, basically it'll be some sort of uh, luminance solarization effect. Then the other thing I wanted to try was uh, to put it through this digital delay unit here. So let me just try that. <coughs> Let's see here. It's zoomed out. So boom, 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 boom. And it's in A, and I really don't see nothing. Nothing, honey. It's not passing it. So let's go back well, to the okay. IntelliGel just to make sure I'm, I didn't screw up something. There it is. Put it back over here and I mean, make I could sure. I'm feeding you positive versus negative. Mm. I'm going to try feeding you negative. Okay. No, I don't think it's passing it. It should be, I believe, have all the settings correct. Yeah, I think it's just simply not passing that. Oh! Something's passing. Let's go back. Oh, wait. Yeah. It is passing. Yeah. So, passing. let me try this. Weak. Yeah, why would it be... This is a digital delay unit. And it is passing, albeit... It seems like it's heavily... 
seems like it's heavily filtered. Or maybe not, I don't know. It's got little streaks that are stronger. But... Right, well, when I increase the delay to the maximum, you start seeing the streaks. Now I'm going down in delay duration. Now I'm down to no delay. And let's see here. Oh, wait. Well, it's definitely passing something. Now I'm back up in frequency. Uh, no, duration of delay. Now I'm turning back down. Let me try more subtle adjustments. I was in the wide range. It's Maybe definitely passing some something. More contrast. There we go. 